He's going to have to just run one way because he's going to get destroyed if he stays too far forward. Going to have to be very careful that Sivir is what Deft got his Penta on to take them out of the LPL. And remember to keep hitting us up at LOL Esports with your series votes. Tweet hashtag AHQ win or hashtag EDG win. And we'll update the poll once we are in the game. And Raren with some kills on each side of the board. This is now AHQ. They said, Westor said himself, like Crumb said, the man doesn't stutter. It's gonna be four games. They have their chance here. They saw the first pitch. Get enough on this one to get the first turret kill of the game. And it's gonna be a lot of money on the def, giving him a pretty quick BF sword. Quick night there. Mountain didn't really make a move, so the overall kill pressure here is down on Pawn if he decides to flash away from this situation. Oh! No, they're able to just zero him out as Mountain gives him a nice body slap. Westor also gets to go back and makes up for these 10 CS he's behind. Now, Coral might be in trouble. The saplings, they have died. And he's now stuck on the tower. Nobody's left for him. Ignite comes in. Great. Dodges some of the CC, Ooh. but it's going to be nearly enough. Albus holds Zagro for now. Walks away. Does die for his sins. And actually, oh. Death, with the saving flash heal, keeps Koro alive. Dive does not succeed. And you've got a Sivir defending a turret valiantly. They're likely to do so. You can see they're already fighting around this lane. They catch up on the Mako. Force giving the flash away. The blue buff's gonna be theirs as well. And the turret probably not far away. Clear love goes in anyway. The pops the CC. A ton of damage coming through. Mountain goes down to Mako overall. Albus on the way out. Double buff the Thresh doing a lot of damage. And Def gonna pick up a cleanup kill as well. A third casualty in as Clear Love picks up. Two in a row here, and already the pressure has backed. AHQ is in response mode now. They actually, and stays in the top lane. They may get core out of this one. Just a few more shots to take him down, and it looks like EDG will start to back from their bottom lane fight here as they finally pick up that kill onto Koro. So they get one kill top lane, but yeah, two towers died in the bottom lane. That's very important. Makes it super easy for Deft to just go into this mid lane and start defending against the Lucian, the push that you know is gonna come from AHQ once he's getting a bit of fun maybe in the top lane and another kill, potentially. You don't want to feed this caster then. Oh, oh. <laughs> His build does take time, but once he hits... The laners who freeze get punished because you dive the mid laner, stuff gets really crazy. You see West Door in kind of a weird spot, but... In this case, both top laners actually are freezing, trying just to scale on up. Ooh. A great dodge by Westor, but now actually a fight may just start. Clearly going to get hit up. The shark comes through, or is it Irv? And more stuns still coming through. Ziv really wants to do something, forcing the Q over the wall, but a re-engage by Westor hops away from the play. Koro in the front line goes in onto Albus. This Nautilus taking a plenty of punishment. And where is Daft? Where is Pawn? They're joining now the fight. EDG could be re-engaging and picking up some kills. Ziv looks like he could back in with Nard. Mids the wall up, and they do take down Mako. Now onto Westor. Koro is actually low, though. That Nard ultimate just shoves everybody up towards the top side of the fight and repositions AHQ to be able to turn around. Oh. Can he clean it? Actually, Han gets out of vision. Now he's got to turn towards Mountain. Is there enough to get over a wall and dodge out on Deft? The ward is there. It's one last boomerang. You better duck in Han's, or in Mountain's. Oh, he's no. taking it out with the barrel slow. Oh. Oh. He had to suck in for that one. <laughs> He's okay, unless Koro decide. Okay. Oh, what? He okay, let's see. Home guard. Home guard. Flying through. That's a fast tree. I don't think he's going to be cutting anything down on this one, though. Quickly slowed down and shut down on the home guard speed. He charges. And we're going to see just how every gaming plays this fight. I think they are the team with the control. Maokai pushing down the mid lane. Cassidy pushing down the bot lane. They're still all grouped up on this side of the river, protecting the pink war that's so important for them. HQ do not have any deep vision in this one. Not on the river, at least. That's the on the hunt. Looks like they're not going to be able to get in too much range. Over the wall doesn't give us too many options to the rest of the team. Pong can still make it over. They're getting under their own turret now. EDG gets bounced back. A great explosive cast from Mountain. Oh! And the follow-up is there from Han. Piercing light through the entire team. Mountain chugs. The passive can't keep him alive. And it is a one-for-one one in a quick fight. The dragon is still alive. Westo is not done yet. He's going back in. And the shark comes in, but he's exhausted all the same. Not a lot of damage coming through. Force to jump back out, but Sif goes in. Goes for the Mega Narcoro, tries to limp away from this one. Look at but that. Anne is getting time to hit. Oh. He's going to pick up two. And Pod still can't find anyone to deal any real damage to. Finally chunks out Anne. You've now got to be careful of this blue buff. Cassidy houses come at him, but he's staying alive.
and Ann just staying in the back. He gets two kills for himself. And guys, there's more fights. And it's going to be a fight that Edward Gaming might not like. Pot has to jump over the wall for this one. AHQ happy to re-engage. Nice hook over the wall. Now I'm getting caught out, but Def getting hit up by Westor goes down to the passive. And now two. more kills come through with Playful Trickster. Mako point blank calling. A third kill comes in. One traded back by Cora, but now he's all alone. Pawns left them. He's left Coro to die by himself. The tree falls alone to the forest, but AHQ is there to listen to it happen. The face, well, the face plant that gets into the wall. Gives that and Coro. Oh, it is never ending right now. What a brutal game. AHQ seems to be already engaging on EDG, or EDG the other way around, double turret dive, and they are regretting it now. They've already lost Coro. They've already lost Pawn, and now they have to run out. Ziv's actually on a self-sufficient top laner, and though he's losing the matchup, he's still able to create some kind of pressure. But Mountain now getting cut out here. Pretty hard to miss a champion Ooh. that big, especially with a name that big. And he's going to try to run away. <laughs> a great explosive cast. Going to buy some time, but in comes Koro. He's going to find Ann, but the rest of the team still goes for Mountain. But it's still going to be the shutdown. AD carry falls, and Alp is going to be maybe the next one to drop. Yes, it is. Pawn doing so much work. Now catching up towards Mountain Ziv. Still alive. is alive, but low. He's maybe a hill at this point. And EDG, with plenty alive, could push down another turret. Slowly keeping this one alive, but I don't know for how long. There's Koro, the one to dive in again and prompt the fight for the rest of the team. Tanking it is Pawn, and he'll be able to go in and out safely. Ow. Clear love, swinging the flail, brings it down on West Door's head. Make sure the door doesn't hit him on the way. Even if you lose it, you might force them back to Ooh. clear the minions. We're going to see another engage, by the way. It's coming now. But all oh. pops on his on and Pawn's going to follow up, and down he goes. AHQ, once again, are moving too far forward on the map when they are trying to push every single lane at once. You are against so much mobility from EDG to just get onto you every single time. And now Mountain is being caught out. Wow, why is he even in the mid lane right now? That's going to be a quick pickup. Jumps over the wall, right. but nope. a great hook for style points. Pawn, 6, 3, and 9. He's got the most kills in the game. Something changed for AHQ. It just started breaking up the power and numbers roll, and they have been picked off now, one after the other. Baron for EDG. This is going to be a very hard contest for AHQ. Don't have really enough to get Megan in. Upcoming. Help is trying. Ziv is going to gnaw out just now. He locks down Clearlove. Baron actually has about 1,500 HP. Nobody can really keep fighting for it, but they're trying to push everybody, so Baron is attacking them. Pawn picks up a double. Then it's going to be Clearlove as he gets the Baron. Spike right. here for this one. Sometimes it works, but frequently it does not. No cross map objectives taken for when EDG goes for a fight. Paul, oh, good goodbye. Look at his build. He had enough oh. gold to go back and get another large rod for himself. He's getting really, really fed. And here we go, Edward Gaming. They're great at playing alongside Baron Nasher buff. And look at this, a hook on Albus goes Ooh. down. Mago gets the kill, because he wants one too. Koro, where else would he be? Inside the enemy ranks, and they're just pushing AHQ around. Inhibitor gonna go down 29 minutes in, but more kills, why not? Ziv hooked up and killed. A stun on the mountain, he's gonna have to retreat as well. AHQ on the back foot. Edward Gaming looking to push in to win this game to start the series out 0 and 2. A re engage comes in. I don't know if it's going to be enough because Pawn is crushing everybody. A shutdown does come through, but I think Westor has to go back and was out on the hook. Mako gets his second kill of the fight. 3, 4, and 19 for him. Koro on the fountain, not of his own will, but he might still survive the fight all the same. EDG. It's going to take him some time. The real lot of durability from Mako there. Taking one down on the fountain. It took a while for EDG to find a crack in AHQ's armor. Once they did, they went from 15 to 27 kills and Baron immediately. And then on to the Nexus. EDG take game two over AHQ. Talked about how when we have two comps that does the same. If you start making some mistakes, it's just gonna snowball so heavily in the other right. direction. EDG completely punished AHQ for